Hi, um, this is the first video in a series of videos where we're going to create a program in Turbo Pascal which converts a sentence of text inputted by the user into uh, Morse code. Uh, this was a program that I was given as a project probably 25 years ago. Uh, it was when I was completely new at programming uh, it was uh, the project was using the Turbo Pascal language, um, and uh, it was a challenge at the time. Um, it's not something I've kept, so I'm going to have to do this from scratch. But this first video uh, is about getting Turbo Pascal running on a on a modern operating system such as Windows 10. Um, as I'm sure you know, on Windows 7, 8, 8.1, and 10, you uh, can't install DOS programs. Um, so you need to install a third-party program such as DOSBox uh, in order to get these old um, DOS programs working. So the uh, first video is about installing a program called DOSBox uh, and getting Turbo Pascal up and running within that program. So without further ado, we shall get on with it. Right, so here we go. Uh, we're going to install uh, DOSBox. To do this, we need to uh, find the program so go to Google type in DOSBox go to the first result there which is to DOSBox.com click on downloads we're going to be doing this on a Windows computer but um, I would imagine that the procedures the same for most other operating systems but this is what we're doing today click on download and this should now download it to your downloads folder on your computer uh, I have done this previously, so we're probably going to find a couple of previous versions here already. But uh, actually, let's open the folder. Yeah, <laughs> that was the third one that I downloaded. Right, we don't need this browser anymore, so we can close all of that. So click on the installation file. Uh, we're not going to follow the default. Uh, options. We're going to do something a little bit different uh, just to make our lives a little bit easier. Instead of downloading to the programs file, uh, the pro yeah, program files folder, we're going to install it to the desktop instead. Uh, because of Windows security, there are certain things which don't work perfectly. Writing to files and things, you've got to do a lot of messing about to get it to work correctly. So it's a lot easier if we just um, install the program to the desktop. Uh, and that way, here we go, let's just move that into the middle of the screen, that way um, we don't have to worry about making any of those changes. So this file folder here, TP71, I downloaded this earlier, I went onto Google. I, I did originally own the uh, 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 Turbo Pascal, but I cannot find the original um, installation disks or anything now and besides they would have been on floppy disk and I don't even have a floppy disk uh, drive in my computer anymore so um, I find found uh, Turbo Pascal 7.1 on the internet and I've downloaded it uh, this is a program which is not sold anymore so obviously there, there could be copyright issues there uh, I'm not condoning this but because it's a program you can't even buy anymore you don't really have many other options so this could well be the only way to do it but um, uh, just do do what you want to do um, so anyway this has got all of the uh, installation files that we need as well now if we go into the DOSBox folder we want to create a new folder called programs And if we go into programs, let's move that TP71 folder into there. Now if we go back, we want to now open DOSBox.exe to start the program. First thing we need to do is mount a C drive. So I'm going to type in mount C programs. What that's going to do is create a C drive. Uh, with uh, it, which the root of that C drive is actually going to be the folder we just created called Programs. Now, if we type in C colon and then DIR for to uh, view uh, the contents of that folder, we can see it's done it, and it's got a folder inside called TP seventy one. If we go in here and have a look, we can.
can see there's an install install uh, file here, an executable file. So we need to we need to cd we need to cd to tp seventy one and then type in install. Click enter to continue. Yes, we want the source drive to be C. Yep, the source path is TP71. And yes, we want to install it on a hard drive. Uh, all of these are absolutely fine. Start the installation. And this takes a few seconds, I think, maybe half a minute or something to install. We shall see. It should certainly be a lot quicker than it was back in the old days, but not that fast. Still going. <laughs> okay, this is asking us to make a couple of changes, but I don't think we need to do them at the moment. Um, so we're just going to press any key to go to the README file minimum system requirements I think we'll probably pass that being as this is a 30 year old program um, so click exit uh, escape to exit okay so let's have a quick look see what it's done um, that installation process has created this folder called TP uh, this is everything that it's created what we're interested in is, is what's in the bin folder and if we uh, scroll down we'll see that this turbo.exe file exists this is the executable to get the program running so if we go back to DOSBox and we cd let's change directory to uh, tp uh, and then cd to bin and then type in turbo and there we go we now have a fully working copy of Turbo Pascal 7.1 within a Windows 10 operating system. Uh, and from here, we'll start creating our Morse code program. Uh, so that's it for now. Uh, but I'll be back very, very soon with the next episode. Bye for now.